We asked the computers to watch YouTube and tell us what they find. We, we had a lot of capacity, compute capacity, so they would take YouTube videos, cut them into uh, 10 frames per second, and compare the patterns on the 10 frames. Basically trying. And then one of them said, we, I found something. We had to write a bit of code to find out what it found. And it had found a cat. Right, of course, it's YouTube, right? And it didn't only find one cat. It found what makes something a cat. It could literally find every cat on YouTube. We never taught it how. We never understood how it did it. Understand that, right? And the code that was written for a computer to find every cat on YouTube if I had written it the traditional way, it would have been probably 200 million lines of code. Because I would have to find every possible interpretation of how a cat looks on YouTube and get the computer to see that. That code was this big. But there was a lot of numbers and mathematics that we don't understand. Just like I can ask you a question and you'd give me a very intelligent answer, and I have no clue what happened inside your brain to get to that answer. This is where we are. Computers find their own intelligence. We don't teach them how. We just give them the data to learn. And they learn like humans. And every task we've ever given them since, they've become better than humans at. So they are the world champion in chess. They are the world champion in Go. They are the world champion in, uh, in everything we've given them. They are the best manipulator of humanity on the planet in in terms of social media engines. They are the best writers, the best artists, the best musicians, the best anything we've ever given them. And between the turn of the century and the time when we recognized that, which is what I normally refer to as the Netscape moment, so 2023, every one of you started to hear about AI. Uh, that's not because AI started in 2023. AI started in, 20, in, in 2000, and by 2016, all of us in the lab, we knew we got it. By 2016, we had created code that would blow you away. We, we started to fold proteins, if you understand protein folding is one of the most complex problems ever faced by biologists in history. You know, it would take a, a group of PhD students around eight months to, pro, to fold one protein, we, we created AlphaFold in 2016, 2017, and it folded 200 million proteins, okay, in a day. When ChatGPT came out in 2023, people said, oh, there's something called AI. It's not because AI started, it's because we had a browser. Just like Netscape, when, you know, the internet came out in 1995, the internet had existed for almost 15 years before, it's just that for the first time we had a browser, we could see it. Now, since 2023 until today, it's been mind-blowing, okay? Just to give you a few statistical pointers to understand. First of all, intelligence is a lot deeper than ChatGPT. Let's be very clear, okay? The task given to ChatGPT and Gemini and others is linguistic intelligence. It's the ability to understand knowledge and communicate and so on and so forth. Okay? Of course, there are other forms of intelligence, emotional intelligence, for example, they haven't learned yet. Intuition, uh, complex mathematics, um, deep reasoning, all of those forms of intelligence. We haven't seen AI perform that way yet, but we will very soon, and I'll tell you why. But what we did is, as we gave them that task, we have a machine called ChatGPT, that is estimated in certain tasks to perform at 110 IQ, and in other tasks at 155 IQ. Just so that you know, Elon Musk is 155. Einstein, was, which was never really measured, is estimated to be 162. So we have machines today that are as intelligent as Einstein. And we as humans, sitting in the cold water, the gradually heating water, are chilling and you know, discussing and saying, oh, no, but we will always be humans. We will always be in the lead. They will always need us. Okay? And I used to go mad in 2016 when people would tell me, oh, but hold on, <laughs> you know, AI, no, no, you know, humans were capable of creativity, were capable of, you know, poetry and music, and these are things that AI will never do. What? What do you mean? I mean? Basically, they're doing every one of them better than us, 
right? Why? Because if you take the most complex of them, innovation, for example, in my very geeky mind, innovation can be turned into a mathematical equation. It's basically an instruction to a, to a machine that says, find every possible solution to a problem, discard the ones that were uh, proposed before, give me the ones that have never been proposed uh, before, and that is innovation. This is it, right? It's solutions to a problem that have not been uh, seen before.